Welcome to our tutorial about applying appearances to your part. I've got two solid bodies in my graphic area. By default, we have the generic material applied and the default appearance applied. So let's set about changing the appearance. From this drop down menu, I'm going to select anodized red. Now let's right click on the node for solid one in the browser and select properties. Under body appearance, we have as part selected. Let's change that to anodized blue and click OK. Let's do the same with our features. Let's right click on extrusion 2, select properties. Here we have feature appearance as body. Let's change it to anodized bronze. And click OK. Now if I want to change the appearance of the face, I can right click on the face and select properties. Here we have face appearance as features selected. Let's change that. I'm going to select white oak. And let's click OK. The reason I've selected a wood is because I want to show you how to manipulate the texture. You can see the texture here on the face. Let's click on the face and then click Adjust. Since I've got texture, I've got two glyphs here that I can use to adjust the texture. This one here adjusts the scale. Down here, I can adjust the angle of the texture. If you don't have texture in your material, these glyphs won't be present. I can change the color by dragging the control on the wheel. Or I can enter a number manually in RGB or HSL values. Notice my appearance name has changed. It's now called White Oak with a 1 next to it in parentheses. This is a new appearance since I made changes to the original appearance. When you're satisfied with your appearance, you can click OK. That's the green check mark down here. And let's click an empty space to deselect everything. Let's click on the Adjust tool again. Instead of the paint bucket, we've got the color picker available. Let's select this face. The mouse pointer now becomes the fill bucket. And since we don't have textures, we don't have the scale and angle glyphs that I spoke about a moment ago. Now I can apply this appearance to this face. Select the face, and let's click Apply. And we again have the color picker. I'll select anodized blue, apply to this face, and click OK. I've got the ability to select more than one face. Let's control select a group of faces. Now right click and scroll to properties. I'll choose anodized white. And click OK. Removing an appearance is easy. Use the clear tool. So first we can select the clear tool and then click a face. And then click OK. Let's activate the Clear tool again. Select a solid now. I'll do it from the browser and click OK. We can also do this the other way around. Select the face and then click the Clear tool. And all appearances that we applied are deleted. Let's deselect everything. Now activate the tool again. Select a part and click OK. Let's try it again. Select the tool, select all, and click OK. From this drop down menu, we can see that we're now back to the default appearance. This concludes our first tutorial about applying appearances. We'll be covering this topic in greater detail throughout this course.